bad to look beautiful. At the same time, you have to look here beautiful too. Aww, so it's I like two things. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. With so many social issues affecting Jordan these days, it's no surprise there's a group of people using street art as an outlet to voice their opinion and speak out within their country. I was curious to find out more about these artists, so I went to the longest graffiti wall in the Middle East and met Leila Ajawi, one of the few female graffiti artists in the region. Was this your first big project? Yeah, it is really bigger than our home. How long did it take for you to do? From eight to 10 hours, almost. It's beautiful, you're beautiful. Leila is involved with Women on Walls, a network of artists who use street graffiti as a platform to bring women's issues in the Middle East to the masses. So what's the main message that you wanted to get across? It's two messages. Okay. One for the guys. It's like saying, don't look at my body only. Look at my mind. Also, it's a message for the girls. It's not bad to look beautiful. At the same time, you have to look here beautiful too. Aww, so it's I like two things. What do you think are the biggest issues facing Muslim women today? It's a very wide topic, actually. There are women who defend our rights to accomplish like um, an equality, including citizenship. The problem that we face here, that the mother, if she was married from someone who is outside, not Jordanian, uh. she can't give her children the citizenship. Right, it's a citizenship the of the father then. Exactly, yeah. Okay. If someone raped a girl, he cannot have the punishment if he married to her. Oh. So it's like, go rape her and marry her oh. for free. Why the law is like that, I don't think women has been engaged with the parliament, for example, like before. Now right. they started to be, we have many issues that uh, we are trying to spot out. Right. And art is a very great uh, tool to spot anything. You're like a feminist graffiti artist. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, um, I'm focusing on the empowerment of the woman. But women in Jordan aren't the only ones looking to express themselves with a can of spray paint. Meet Suab Attar, a 23-year-old local artist. So which one is yours? I love that the octopus is wearing a gas yeah, mask. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Suab works with Aptart, an organization that uses art to inspire children in conflict zones and refugee camps. Its main goal is to breed positivity rather than hate. Sure. Their latest project was at a local Jordanian skate park where young refugees from Syria and other war-torn countries hang out and have some fun. What does it do for the refugees when you come in? They have fun with kids, like aged between like seven and 15, so... Give them a little bit of fun in their lives yeah, for a half play minute. with colors and like throwing to each other. <laughs> right. It's like color festival there. Thanks to Suab and Aptart, these kids made their mark on the skate park for the world to see. So the next time you spot street art in your neighborhood, pay attention. You just may learn something. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, I get schooled on Jordan's Bedouin lifestyle, which has remained relatively unchanged for hundreds okay. of years. Careful, careful.